Hi! In this video, we will talk about the piecewise function. Piecewise function or hybrid function is a type of function that requires more than one formula to obtain or define the given output. It comes with a variety and a combination of forms such as linear, quadratic, cubic, exponential, and etc. Because of this variety, piecewise function has no parent function. As you can see in this function, or even in the graph, it has these multiple formulas or multiple of sub-functions, and each of these applies to a different domain. Now we will proceed to the real-life applications of piecewise functions. Piecewise functions or functions as a whole are used in many input-output situations such as in measurement, economics, business, geometry, programming, and many others. So this is an example of a problem in which we can use the piecewise function. So an online shop charges a fee for their shipping services based on the total value of the products ordered. They charge an initial fee of 120 pesos for the orders with a total amount of 500 pesos and under, an additional of 55 pesos shipping fee for orders with a total value between 500 and 1000 pesos, and doubled initial fee for the orders with total amount above 1000 pesos. So we need to write a piecewise function representing the shipping fee charge as F in pesos for x total value of orders. So the function is f of x is equal to a long, let's put a long bracket here. 120 pesos is the shipping fee charge. So we will put it here. So it is 120 pesos if the total amount or the total value of orders is 500 and under. So we need to put here, if x is greater than 0 and less than or equal to 500. Because the shipping fee charge is 120 pesos if the total value of orders is in between 0 and 500. The other formula is an additional of 55 pesos shipping fee for orders with a total value between 500 and 1000. So we need to add 55 to 120. If the total amount is between 500 and 1000, so we need to put x is greater than 500 but less than or equal 1000 pesos so this is the second formula and then lastly is the doubled initial fee for the orders with a total amount of 1000 pesos we need to double 120 pesos if the total value of orders is above 1000, so we need to put if x is greater than 1000 pesos. So this is our piecewise function. So we can um, simplify it. f of x equals to 120 if x is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 500 then we need to add this so 175 if the total value of orders is between 500 and 1000 including 1000 and then 120 times 2 is 240 240 pesos if the total value of orders is 
above 1,000 pesos. So, this is our first problem. So here is another problem. Under a certain law, the first 40,000 of earnings are subjected to 20% tax. Earning greater than 40,000 and up to 100,000 are subjected to 30% tax and earnings greater than 100,000 are taxed at 50%. We need to write a piecewise function that models this situation. So in this problem, we will let our x be our earnings and f as our tax. So we will use the piecewise function to know our tax in a certain earnings. So f of x so the first 40,000 of earnings are subjected to 20% tax. 0.20 times the earnings. If our earnings is greater than 0 or less than or equal to 40,000. This is our first formula. Then in the second formula, earning greater than 40,000 and up to 100,000 are subjected to 30% tax. So if our x is greater than 40,000 but less than or equal to 100,000, our tax will be 30% of the earnings greater than 40,000. So, x minus 40,000. And we need to plus the 20% of the 40,000. 0.20 times 40,000. So we need to add this to to get the tax of the earnings between 40,000 and 100,000. So what if the earnings is greater than 100,000? So if the earnings is greater than 100,000 then the tax should be the total or the total of this second formula plus the 50% of the earnings greater than 100,000. So we need to find out the value of the second formula first to get the last formula. So, the 20% of 40,000 is 8,000 plus the amount of the highest possible value in this formula. So, 100,000 is the highest amount of the earnings so 100,000 minus 40,000 is 60,000 so we need to multiply 60,000 by 0 0.30 30% of 60,000 is 18,000 so 18,000 so this is our this way is function. So here, if 
the earnings is greater than zero but less than or equal to 40,000. Then 8,000 plus the 30% of x minus 40,000. This is the tax if the earnings is greater than 40,000 but less than or equal to 100,000. And if the earnings is greater than 100,000, we need to add this up. So, 18,000 plus 8,000 is 26,000. Plus the 50 percent of x minus 100,000 if the earnings is greater than 100,000. So this is the piecewise function that models this situation.